And this Frankie, let me say, I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion, may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock because of anything that I say in this video. Do your own DD. Look, when I play something I found on Twitter, you're going to see, man, how this neck is shortening and this counterfeiting that's coming from these criminal short sellers and these hedge funds and just these criminals in, in general. You, you're going to see, man, it's an international problem. And some people would consider it to be financial terrorism. You see what I'm saying? Look, you finna see how some of these criminals and these short sellers, how they hide their naked shorts. And see, regulators, man, know this stuff has been going on. Because this particular incident right here, it took place in 2014. So you had John Berta, which is the CEO of Torchlight. Back in 2014, he started, you know, he wanted to take, check the temperature of his stock, see what was going on with everything. So he started getting a short report on his stock like every two weeks. So he started noticing, man, that the short, his, the, you know, the amount of shorts in his stocks, they start increasing. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you see, man, what he found out that the short seller was doing to his stock. And this is how these criminals are hiding the naked shorts. They can stop it if they want to, bro. But this is what they're doing. Number 15, the following one that came out October, October 1st of 2014, a short report stated 3.2 million shares short. And then the following one that came out October 15th of 2014, it showed only 1.2 million shares short. So I called my NASDAQ rep and I said, hey, you know, this doesn't seem right to me. There's no way we traded enough shares for buy to close. You've told me all along that there are no short selling. Every single share that is short has a borrow. You know, everything is legit. I said, I need to know what's going on because, you know, this affects us. Because uh, even at 2014, there's a lot of algo trading. And if uh, an algo perceives that you don't have enough shorts in your stock, they start shorting some more. So, and, and and more importantly, it, it lacked transparency. So they called me back a couple of days later and said, oh, you know, Venra told us that 2 million shares that were short moved offshore and therefore they're out of the U.S. purview. So they don't count them as short anymore. I said, well, that's the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. Why would they not treat them as a short position when they, they know full well, you know, what happened to them? And she couldn't explain to me because she was, she was the one that was saying that every single share is always accounted for. Well, this is hardcore evidence that it, that is absolutely not the truth. And see, that's a prime example, man. These regulators, in my opinion, they know what these criminals are doing. But, man, if you ask me, they just don't want to stop it, just like I said in my videos. See, that's one of the loopholes that these criminal short sellers and these counterfeiters are using. You see what I'm saying? That's just one of them. But that's why I say when people be talking about the short interest and people be like, well, it ain't no naked shorts and, you know, the short interest is not showing it and all that. Hey, man, all that's garbage, man. These criminals, man, they had their naked shorts. It's, it is what it is. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.